This is the one node you can use to bring movement into any object or text within DaVinci. Let's check it out. Now that you're in DaVinci, go ahead and grab a Fusion composition. We're gonna be jumping straight into the Fusion page. Now that we're in the Fusion page, go ahead and zoom in because this is outrageously zoomed out and grab a background node. Now connect it to your media out and just create some sort of background for the image or text that you're gonna be working with. Otherwise, you can do this completely on screen. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring our image in first just so we can see what we're working with and connect that to our background. Now I'm gonna put a transform node below it. So hit shift space and type in transform. Now I'm gonna bring down the size of the image so that way I just see it in the middle of the screen. And now where is where all the fun happens. Now we can actually jump in here and we're gonna be using the camera shake node in order to make this image shake so that way when you're looking at this video it's not just an image just sitting still on the screen because that's boring nobody likes nothing going on in a video so i'm going to show you how to change that go ahead and jump into the transform node click on it hit shift space and type in camera shake. Go ahead and select this first one. You can use either of them, but we're gonna be using this first one for the video. And now you can go ahead and change the deviation. I usually like to give it only a little bit of shake. I don't want it moving too, too much because then it's really distracting with it going all around the screen. So I usually crank this number down, make it really small, make the Y deviation really small. This is gonna be how much it moves up and down and X is how much it moves side to side. Then I'll change the rotation a little bit. Might switch this one up and make it higher or lower depending on the clip. Randomness, I'll adjust sometimes but the overall strength and speed are what really matters. So now we can go ahead and bring down the strength and then I wanna go ahead and bring down the speed. So that way it's something small and subtle. And now we're given something like this. So if you ever wondered how to get this sort of effect in a video, how people make their text move on the screen or how people get their images to move, this is how they probably did it. I hope this helps you guys animate stuff now we can go ahead and we can bring in a text node and we'll just put this after our media in one and we'll merge it on in here and we'll make it talk about art. You didn't know we were gonna be discussing art in this video. We'll name it art and we'll just adjust the size of it so that way it's up here. And now you can see what we got. As you can see, the text art doesn't move because it depends on where you place the camera shake in the scene. So if you wanted the text to shake as well. You can go ahead and hit control C on the camera shake and control V here. And you can leave things the same or you can adjust them, that's up to you. Now we got this. So this might be cool effect for a video that you have. Maybe you wanna flash something up on the screen in the corner and just have it shake. Or maybe you want something over here to do the same. Or maybe you just want text to pop up on the screen and you don't want it to be basic and not doing it. This is a simple way that you can make something move without setting any sort of keyframes on anything. We just did it in one, two, three, and you can too. So I hope you guys got some value out of this video. And if you guys got some value out of this video, make sure you guys slap that like button and slap the subscribe button. I'm on a mission to change 10,000 video editors life and I need your help getting there because you're a video editor and I need you to subscribe so that way I can change your life for the better in DaVinci Resolve. See you guys next time. Peace.